Okay, I want to show you how to uh, configure this Compact Flash wireless card that we're using for the internet. So the first thing we're going to need to do is put the machine in our Compact Flash expansion jacket. And then we need to take our Compact Flash and, excuse me for just a second while I insert it. <coughs> okay, now... This is the first thing that's going to come up. This is probably going to only come up one time, but still you should remember this. Uh, you come, it comes up and says Network Card and Socket 1. You need to name this XI, XI825, which is the name of the driver for this card. Now we're going to click OK. OK, now what we want to do is first we want to configure it the same way we would any other wireless card. We're going to go into start. Oops, it's trying to come up already. Uh, if you, Whenever you see this, you always want to set it to connect to work. So we'll click OK and now we're going to go into start, go into settings, go into connections, connections again, Go down to the bottom and click on the Advanced tab. Then click on Select Networks. And then we want to set this drop-down box here with the black arrow. Always want to set it to work. We don't want to edit it. We don't want to change anything else. We just want to set it to My Work Network. Then we're going to click OK. Click OK again. Oh, sorry. Uh, when we get to this this screen, we're going to come over here and click on Tasks. We're going to click on Set Up My Proxy Server. Now we're not going to actually set up a proxy server. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this checkbox here is checked. It says this network connects to the internet. You want to make sure there is a check mark in that box and only in that box. Okay, now we're gonna, we don't want to change anything else. We don't want to do anything else except click OK. Click OK again. And now we're going to X out of that screen. Okay, now what we have done is we have set this up uh, pretty much for an open network. If you have a secured network, we're going to have to go back and, and do a little more. Uh, but if you have an open network, we should be able to connect to the Internet. And let's check that and see. Click on Internet Explorer. And we're going to go click on Windows Media. You can see our little flag waving, and you can see it loaded the site. So it did connect to OK, and we're fine. Now, what if you have a secured site, a site that you need a password for? Uh, we would click on Start. We would go to Settings, we would go to System, and we would scroll down to the bottom of the screen. Now you see this icon here where it says Wireless LAN Settings. We would click on that, and here you have a screen that has a lot of information and a lot of configuration possibilities. What we want to do, uh, we'd go over here to uh, Configuration. Now you notice it has this box here, ESSID. This is the name of your wireless network. You uh, normally set to auto detect. Hopefully it will pick it up automatically. If it doesn't pick it up automatically, you will need to go into this box here and you need to fill in the name of the network. But we'll leave it on auto detect and hope that, that uh, it will get it automatically needs to be set to infrastructure so that's okay now uh, we can move on to security this is where you're going to have to have a little information uh, from your perhaps your router manufacturer that's usually who has it you're going to need to know your web key your web key is basically your password if you have a web key you're going to need to click here on enable you're going to need to know if it's 40 or 128 bits. You're going to need to click the appropriate box there. Uh, WEP can be either a character or a hex key, uh, so we would need to fill that in. 
and here is where we would actually fill in the web key so you would be able to uh, click in that box and click here to bring up the little keyboard you would hit the backspace key to wipe that out and fill in the web key and when you're done with that you can click apply and OK and with your web key set you will uh, be able to connect to the internet now we give you another uh, video it is called uh, how to configure your router for Wi-Fi a lot of this information will come from your router or the company who makes your router you may need to call tech support for your router or you may simply be able to uh, take your router manual and pull up the router configuration page because almost all routers have an internet page where you can change the settings and even see what the settings are so you need to match the router to the machine uh, if you have security enabled and that's it that will set up your Wi-Fi card and you should be in good shape thank you